Hi travelers, Salut Voyager. So today, new video, we are back in Tbilisi. It won't be any judo in this one. I want to show you all of what the city have to offer. Maybe you see with the quality that it's different camera. So now I got the last GoPro. So thanks for everybody that helping me. Maybe you saw in the last video that I lost it. I lost my drone already also. So today I will show you like the culture, food, the wine, all of what Tbilisi will have to offer. And yeah, once again, like the kindness of people. Like I just sit, sought, I just sit here to, to get a drink because I was thirsty. Uh, by the way, this is one of the best lemonade I know. Like this fruit is uh, feijoa but uh, there is pretty much everything, like it's dragon and you can have everything. And the girl like asked me where I'm from, I said France. She just put French music, so yeah, really nice people. Um, so now we are in uh, Rustavelli Avenue. This is the main street of Tbilisi. <clears throat> you have like a lot of shops and stuff like this you will see later in the video. And behind me, just over there, there is Bruce Tavelli, the poet. Oh, we're walking to Liberty Square. Basically, it's 1.5 km from what you saw just behind Bruce And I will let you see the architecture, with, which is quite nice. And like, you have a lot of people selling things on the side. And... Let's see what it is. So yeah, there is something you should know about Georgia. Uh, it's a very small country, like there is something like 3.5 million uh, people living. And uh, Tbilisi must be like 1.5 million, something like that. And um, so yeah, like you see many people on the street around me but one thing is that there is a lot of like Russian, Ukrainian, uh, Belarusian people here mm, a lot of the people that I met, like Russian, Belarusian actually are here because we say that um, they try to escape from the country um, like because they're against uh, what's happening at the moment <clears throat> Though it's a special situation here because Georgia is um, used to be in war uh, with Russia, and Russia now control like 20% of the territory. So it's complicated topic, and uh, sometimes that can lead to to bad talk. But uh, most of the people that I met here are uh, open-minded and were able to make the difference between politics and people. Um, all people basically here uh, speak, of course, Georgian, second language Russian because it used to be USSR, and the young people speak sometimes Russian, but uh, the new language now is uh, English uh, with the education reform. <clears throat> and yeah, I think that's it. Now we're gonna walk to the Liberty Square. By the way, there will be interesting stuff to show you in this video about Soviets. Okay, so now we're going that way to one of the most famous um, monuments of Tbilisi. And then we'll probably go up in the mountains before eventually discovering the food here yeah so i will take public transportation to go there about that to do <clears throat> anything you can take a card and charge it like this guy is doing right now but there is something good here you don't need actually to have a, a card everything costs like one lorry metro bus whatever that's the price one lorry is like uh, 0 0.35 dollars so it's quite cheap and you can just pay with a uh, credit card everywhere by beeping like you have a transportation normal card so very useful all right so now let's go to the cathedral by the way you might have seen a lot of georgian men are quite 
strong, big. It's because fighting is something in their blood, like everybody do wrestle, boxing, judo, and you see them with big here pretty much everywhere. I think the bus is here, so I'm gonna run. Sameba Cathedral that I will let you see very soon. Here, this cathedral was is quite young actually. It was built uh, a little bit before 2000, <clears throat> and this is one of the biggest uh, religious um, monument in the world actually. It have different meaning. So first, it was to celebrate the 2000 years of the birth of uh, Jesus Christ. By the way, it is Orthodox uh, Church and also to celebrate um, the revival of uh, Georgia after Soviet occupation so it's wonderful and huge I will see if I can get inside uh, for free because I already spent so much money lastly so I would rather like to do it for free I see someone with a drone I will try to have his footage for the video maybe with the credit of course so, let's see. It's closed. We'll go to see if there is anything special to see <coughs> on the other side. By the way, I show you with my finger. Over there, you have um, the old town. And maybe after that, we will meet a Georgian guy that I met in the taxi that speak quite good French and that is lovely. I didn't even realize actually, but I took the taxi and I didn't even pay. I thought it was automatic, but no, it was cash. And I just left the taxi like this. He didn't ask anything. You know, Georgian generosity. There's some kids here swimming in the, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's very nice. So, um, you know, I didn't say it in the video, but if you follow me on Instagram, maybe you saw the, <clears throat> the poll. Uh, I was asking like, what this city is looking like for you, which, which other city and... Uh, because I feel like kind of in France here, even though it's way safer in Georgia, like there is basically no criminality here, it's very, very safe and um, yeah the architecture and stuff like this a lot of stuff look like France and that's what people said when I film they said it looked like uh, Bordeaux it's a um, south city in France and by the way I couldn't find the, the guy with the drone <clears throat> so now I'm going to the next things to show you tell me also in the comments if you like to stay away from judo a little bit and like seeing those stuff what you think about the quality of this camera I hope I didn't waste my money and yeah let's see Okay, so I had to make a stop because it's raining right now. I stopped at a wine bar, it's a little bit expensive, but well, everything for the video. Anyway, I wanted to show you something special, like I don't want to drink wine right now as I'm very thirsty. Okay, I thought I forgot my bag. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you something very specific about Georgia. I don't know if there is anything like that uh, somewhere else in the world, tell me, but they make orange wine, which doesn't mean it comes from uh, orange fruit. It's just a um, different uh, variety of grape, and those grapes are kind of orange and more mature, and so that make that kind of wine. I tried it already last time. I'm not wine expert, so I cannot say, but uh, yeah, 
for me it was okay like they make really good wine in Georgia I know it I tried but like the the one I tried I was like not crazy about it here I will try another one and we'll see by the way uh, here the semi sweet is also very popular but sorry but again that's not my thing I'm more into dry red strong wine where is this is all Georgian traditional technology? Big clay pot, deep underground, six months. And this wine was deep underground or with uh, bonos and grape skin. Because, uh, and uh, color is orange. Yeah. Our wine from is Georgia from Kachetia. Try please. From Kachetia? Yes. I was there actually. This is way better than the one I tried last yes. time. Uh, because uh, this wine was deep underground six months and after uh, four years in bottle we must decanter. If you will order bottle we will decanter. But if you uh, have mm. glass I, I give it a small decanter for glasses. Okay. Yeah, but I will just take one glass because I don't want to drink a bottle alone. My name is Christy. Mm -hmm. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. So, sante everybody. Once again today, like so many kind people, something nice happened. So this is the wine. You can see the color is very specific, and the people here just offered me the wine. Um, the name is uh, of the place is Sakli. Thank you very much. That's really nice and. Actually, this one I appreciate more than the one I tried last time. By the way, I know that Georgia is not the most popular country, but there is so many things here about culture, landscapes, food, wine. And since I'm here drinking this glass of wine, I wanted to say also that archaeologists actually found that um, the first wine were here like 6,000 years ago. No, more than that. Um, eight eight thousand years ago so yeah if you are a wine lover you should definitely try where the wine come from you remember i told you about her uh, earlier on the video right now i'm going to the restaurant i didn't know she was there <coughs> looking at me but basically her name is cartlis dila cartlis deda and so she represents, um, she's like Georgian character with typical Georgian dress. On her left hand, she holds a bowl of wine to welcome everyone that come uh, as a friend. Like you could see in the restaurant I was before, like they just offered me the, the glass of wine for free. And on the other hand, she holds a sword for people that come as enemies. Georgia is one of the country that had to face a lot of fight and that won a lot actually because this country is this country is warrior country so yeah she really representing it well i'm waiting a friend for dinner and so i just ended up in what we call maidan bazaar i saw it on internet recommendation but i didn't took time to read it because i thought i would not go but here i am so i will put the explanation in the video while filming I will let you see it's quite interesting place. I've been watching already. Sorry. Okay, so we're now at the last place I was telling you. It's called Fabrica and that's where I'm sleeping right now. So you can see it just behind. Why this place is a little bit special? It's because it used to be a um, sewery. Sewery. I'm not sure how to say in English, you know where you make clothes for the Soviet Union they were making the clothes for them and so like until 10 years ago something like that it was just a burnt building like everything was black everywhere it used to be a bank also and then they built it again to make something really nice that's where I'm staying right now behind there is a garden I will show you everything and then I will edit the video on that place okay I hope you like the video Feel free to comment to tell me what you think, as I said about the camera and everything. And I see you next week. 
four different adventures. By the way, I got my visa accepted for Azerbaijan and that's quite a crazy story that I will tell you later. Bye.